Hey guys, I want to show you how to access your SQLite database on your Android app if you're using Android Studio Project. You can use the Android Debug Bridge in order to do this. So in order to see your devices running on your machine, type ADB space devices. This will list the emulators on your machine. I have an emulator listed. It has an ID 5554. So in order to attach this, I'll type ADB space hyphen S space emulator hyphen 5554 space shell. This will open up a new command line prompt for your emulator. So in here I'm going to change directories into the data folder and then another data folder within that and I'll begin typing the namespace for my project. In this case it's com.example.jimafisk.texter. Inside that folder there's another directory called databases so I'll change directories into that folder. If I list the files within here you'll see some database files that are suffixed with .db. In order to attach to these, I'll type the SQLite3 command and then the name of the file. In this case, it's texther.db. That opens up a new SQLite prompt. In order to see the tables inside this SQLite database, I'll type .tables. I see four tables listed here in my project. Contacts, responses, saved excuses, and Android metadata. In order to see the records inside the contacts table, I'll type select star from contacts. I see two records currently. There's a Stephanie and a Jim record. If I go over to my Android app in my emulator, I can actually start up the app that I've created and then I can click the plus next to the contacts and add a new contact record. I'll just type new name and add a fake phone number for now. When I save this contact, it will actually go and it will save to my SQLite database. So I received a message that said it's saved and if I go back and I check my SQLite database by doing another select statement on the contacts table, I see this new record listed. If I want to check out records in another table, I could use a similar command. So I'll do select star from responses, and that will give me all the records listed in the responses table. I have one record listed right now, 123 Fake Street. If I want to add another one, I could go back to my app. I could start typing in information for location. I'll type 555 Cool Ave. I'll set a time for our meeting time, and then I will save a custom excuse. This is the new, new excuse. If I save this, I'll get a message in my app, and then if I go back to the SQLite database and run the select statement one more time, I should be able to see that record. Okay, it looks like it's working. If you want to exit out of SQLite, you can just type dot quit. And then if you want to get out of your emulator, just type exit. And now you're back to your original command prompt. Thank you very much for watching.